Should everyone help support the fine arts? Undoubtedly, the fine arts have been hit the hardest in the times of pandemic due to visitors unable to visit exhibitions or watch performances. Museums like the Met are closed to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Broadway has pushed back reopening until September, though many experts think the date will be delayed until a vaccine is created. Many of the theaters rely on out-of-towners, but with the lack of travelers, stages are in grave danger of being shut down. Some people think that museums and performances will slowly disappear after the virus as many people do not value the arts. So, what happens to fine arts if there is not an audience to watch? Most fine arts institutes rely on private or public donations to run their business. Because of the financial difficulties the economy is facing, many people are unable to support extracurricular activities. Some art museums, like Florida State's Museum of Modern Art, have started to share virtual trips online and create activities for people to do at home. For those doing class, many teachers and professors have taken to Zoom for ballet exams and art critiques. Many argue that the arts can help society and individuals' well-being. Not only is health affected, students' academic performance, creativity, and social awareness can increase as well. Fine arts can even grow the local economy and tourism business. On the other hand, some believe that the arts are not necessary for human life. When someone creates a beautiful painting or sculpture, it cannot last for thousands of years. In addition, remembering the exact choreography of a dance or the lyrics of all the songs you listen to is impossible. Unless you are Mozart or Da Vinci, your contribution to society will be forgotten. Treatments like music and art therapy are just a placebo effect for patients' mental health. Supporting the fine arts can be a waste of time or money and does not advance society. Thanks for listening and see you all in class.